Okay, part two, adjustable stand. Now we're going to create the part that's in the middle. And to do that, we're going to need a cylinder. We'll put the cylinder here. And we're going to make the cylinder the size 10 by 10. So 10 here and 10 there. Okay. And the height, we'll keep that at 20. We won't change the height. In fact, we'll keep everything at about 20. And so I'll move it in here. And that's where we want to work with it. And let's look, kind of look down on it. Yeah, we need to look down here a little closer and now I can move it to where I need it to be okay let's put it about here and we'll do some more things to it um, let's get a box here and we'll make the box here on this side will be 10 and then let's make the length uh, 65. All right, and now we're gonna match it right up here, right in the middle with the piece here. Make sure it's right in the middle. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna put another piece right here. We're gonna duplicate this and pull the duplication down to the bottom. So this will be on top and bottom. Okay, and then I need to hit F, kind of focus in on that, to make sure it is in the middle. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, that's in the middle. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now I want to make all this one piece. So let's select this. Uh, everything's kind of turned. Turn it over a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna group it. It's all one piece. Okay, you know something? I don't want it to be one piece just yet. Let's ungroup it. Um, I want to need these lines to help me know what the middle is. So I'm gonna keep it um, ungrouped for just one minute. Okay, um, let's now put in. Let's see. I want to put in some grooves in here. So let's grab another piece here. And let's make this six by six. Six over here. Oops, that's six to six. And I want six over here. Okay. That looks good. Let's zoom in here by hitting F. Okay, good. Nice and close. All right. So this little guy right here. I want to add another piece to him, a, a rectangle, a box, shall I say. And we're going to make this, let's get this out of the way. We're going to make the box, uh, this side is going to be 6 as well. And I want it as long as 11. So length is going to be 11. Okay, so let's kind of pull him here, make sure he's about halfway. Uh, it looks about halfway to me. Yeah, I think that's halfway. Okay, that looks good. All right, now um, from here, I want this piece right here to be one solid piece. So we're gonna group that. There we go. And let's move this out the way just a little bit. I might have to ungroup that because I need I may need the lines to help me to kind of sit um, situate where it needs to be. So I'm gonna ungroup it for now. I'll, I'll leave it like that. So I kind of figure out where I want it to be. So this piece right here, I'm going to lift this up. Oops, <laughs> I got to grab all of it. So let's zoom out a little bit. And let's highlight the whole thing so we can move it all together. Now we'll zoom in. I want it to be right bumped up against right here and that. So here and there. Let's see. Let's check and see if it's right at the edge. Get out the way here. Let's hit F here so I can zoom in. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I got it right on top. Hmm. Yeah, I, did. I think I did well. And I got it right against here. All right, all right. So this looks good. All right, that looks good. All right. Now let's get this little piece here. I'm highlight him. Turn it around a little bit. And let's bring 
bring him over. And I want him to be from the middle, the center here. Line up with the center, and I want him to be certain my mouth down. I think I need him down about, um, oh, am I forgetting? I think I need him down two millimeters. So I'm going to use the um, snap grid here. Okay, it's set at one millimeter. So I want him down two millimeters. Okay, that's good. I think that's a good place. And now um, I'm going to group, group him now that I can't use the lines and know where I am. So let's group him. And then let's also make him into a um, hole. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate this piece right here. And I'm going to duplicate him. And I'm going to go five below. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think maybe eleven. Eleven. That should do it. Yeah. Eleven times down. Okay. And then we're going to duplicate that. So duplicate that move. And then that move. And then that move. Okay. They should give us five. Okay. Great. We've got five of these pieces. So let's select them all very carefully. Okay. We got them. And let's move them into this guy right here, right in the middle. Let me zoom in here. Hit F. I think I got him right in the middle. If I don't, we'll fix that. But I think I got it right where I need to. Okay, I hope that's in the middle. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit. And then we're going to group all of these together. Group. Ah, I think I got it. Unless I wasn't close enough to this piece right here. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, I think I got everything together. All right, this piece right here, we're gonna rotate this 90 degrees. So go up here to the rotation, and we're gonna rotate him 90 degrees. Oops, wrong rotation. Um, where's the rotation that I need? I thought that was the right rotation. Okay, let's try it again. 90 degrees. Oh, I need a negative 90, so let's undo that. So negative 90. Negative 90. There we go. All right, he's turned around the right way. There we go. There we go. All right, so a um, couple things. We need to put him on the ground because he's kind of floating. So let's hit the letter D, and now he's down. And let's check out to see if that piece really is in the middle there. Hey, it looks like it. It looks good. Okay, and then finally, we're going to stretch this out to about, um, I think we need to stretch this out to about um, 70. So right now it's at 20. Let's go to 70. Aha, uh -huh. fits. Wow, looking good. Looking good. Okay, I'm pretty confident that our pieces are right. Um, and then we're going to set pins in there in just a minute. But this is good work. Okay, now that we have our pieces all together, we want a rod to go from this side to this side. So let's take out a cylinder here. And we're going to make our cylinder into a um, 5 by 5 millimeters. Let's get this out of the way here. Okay, 5 here and 5 here. Okay. Looks good. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to click the object and hit F. And there we are. Um, I want to flip this over. So let's do a 90 degree turn. Um, where's my, uh, there it is. So we'll make that 90 degree turn. There we go. And this object. Uh, I want it to be a length of 80. So let's back up a little bit. Click this and make this 80. All right, good, 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 good. Now, I want the distance off the off from the floor to be 2.5. So let's zoom in a little bit here. 
when we hit F, that will zoom us in. And we will make the height 2.5. That's about as close as we can get it. So let's just change it into 2.5. There we go. All right. So that's off the ground 2.5. And now we're going to try to put it right in here. And we want to get it even. So I'm going to move this over. And that's not quite even. Let's hit F again so we can zoom in. OK, let's see if I move it here. Nope. There. Nope. There. OK. I got to use my um, snap grid. I'm going to put it at 0.5. See if that helps. Aha. Uh -huh. I think that did it. It looks right in the middle. Oh, that does. OK. All right. That's in the right spot. Right in the middle there. OK. Let's put the snap grid back at 1, so I don't forget. Let's zoom out. And now I'm going to take the red piece away. Now that, we're not, now that we don't need this anymore. OK, let's get that out of the way. And this little rod here, I want to make sure I have the rod right in the middle. So let's select everything here. And then we're going to use our alignment tool to make sure all this is aligned. Got it. OK, nice. All right, so with this, we want to cut out all of this. So we need a um, box here. And the box, we're going to make it 70 on this side here. And we're going to make it 60 on this side here. OK, and let's pull it in right about here. And I want it flush with the bottom here. So I'm going to click um, my uh, box. And I'll click my little structure there. And to click it, i got to hold down. Um, oh, I forgot the key. Um, sorry. Forgetting. OK, I click this piece. And then I hold down Shift. I click the other one. OK, I'll hold down Shift. So now both of these are selected. I didn't want to select this one because I didn't want that to move. So now let's um, pull this down here. Oh, there. And then we'll put it in the middle. Ah, nice. OK, OK. So everything is shifted. Yep, there we go. All right, let's put all this together. I'm going to select everything here, and then we're going to group them. Group. And there we go. That's the bottom of our stand. OK. If you want to, we can put this piece back over here. OK. OK, let's take one more look at our two pieces here. I'll turn it over. And you can see that it's not quite even here. This is off a little bit. And you can see that little space there. I'm going to move this here just a bit. Ah, nice bit. OK. I can see the hole looks very even. The top looks good. OK, so let's back out and separate these two pieces here. I'll put this over here. Let's put this over there. and. We'll put our third piece in the middle here. But let's go back to this piece right here. Let's undo this, and I want to make a change. Uh, ungroup this. Uh, you see the shadow piece right now? I made it 70 on the side. Let's click the little um, hole there. I made it 70. Let's change that to 65 instead of 70. Nice. There we go. There we go. I like that better. All right. Let's select everything here. And then we're going to group it again. And I like that much better. Much better. OK, in our design. OK, we got one more piece we're going to come up with.